Let's see. Can you give me a different number? Oof. Poor Roxy. Hello? There you are. Hello, Roxy. Oh, yes. Can you hear me? I, see. I can hear you perfectly fine. Uh, and I have a phone to pick with you now. Oh, God, what is it? Now, uh, yesterday, I think it was, when I was talking to you, you said, mm-hmm. call me at the time. Uh, do you have my number? And I said, uh, let me double check. And I sent you the number I had. And you said, yep, that's it. And that's the number I was I, th- <laughs> I got yeah, confused. That's confused. my old number. And then I looked and I go, wait, this is 619. Wait, that's where I used to live. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I, I was just following your old number for. Yes, but I'm but like, anyways. okay, that's where. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know, maybe he's in San Diego. I don't know. <laughs> that is funny. Are, are, are you still, like, uh, like rocking on the boat or something? You still getting your. Uh, your oh, my God. Yeah, it took me. It took me a week to recover. You hear my voice a little bit? Um, it was a little bit, uh, everybody's like, we lost our voice. That's from yelling and being like so excited on, on the cruise and everything. <laughs> but yeah, I actually got sick after I got off the boat. Like I felt kind of icky, you know, it passes, but I never got off right. in Ensenada and I never got off in Catalina. So I didn't feel it until after. Oh. Mm-hmm. And usually, you know, I, I saw everybody wearing these wristbands and, and it's fine for a little bit. You know, I'm sorry if you're drinking and throwing some, you know, and you're walking and drinking and that it can, you know, make somebody puke, you know, like my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> now, was that your first time on a cruise? No, I went on, are we in, Are we live right now? We are live, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> that's funny. You just, you kind of just fell right into that. I'm like, wait. I think we are. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, yeah, um, no, this is my second a good story. Um, okay, I went on a Norwegian cruise line, and it was, I think, April. Why do I feel like we had an interview around this time? It was kind of, was it before the afterglow? It was kind of during that thing. And Norwegian cruise line, and I remember on top of the ship, there was like this big party, and I'm going to repost this picture on my Facebook, and it said, glow. <laughs> I'm like, and we're and our next cruise is on Norwegian Cruise Line. So That's, how cool I do is that? that. Yeah, you telling me that before? Yes. Right, and I'm just looking like this is just too weird. And it was kind of like the same thing I had, and I know because you were one of the ones in the very beginning that believed in me from the beginning, and I don't forget that, by the way. Um. It's like the same thing when I was at the show, my friend David, who's the director, and I looked at the stage and I go, I have to do something. Remember that story? And then I ended up doing the first Afterglow. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so it's there's a a lot going on, but this crew, there was a lot. Oh, my God, it was so much fun. Have you heard any bad things about the cruise at all? I haven't heard nothing bad. I, I, I'll tell you what, like, I was, what, the whole time you guys were on the cruise, I was uh-huh. watching, like, a kid in a candy store because I, I just wanted to see the shenanigans going on. And, oh, you I, know, yeah. I told you before, I, like, I, I am definitely afraid of cruises, boats, yes. the ocean, the water, and all that stuff. I wanted to yes. be there so bad. I really did. I wanted to be there. I felt like I was Oh, my God, it was so fun. Much. Mm-hmm. It looked like it. You're missing good. out, though, if you get over your fear. I mean, once in your life, Bay, you've got to take a cruise. You've got to take your wife, take your kids. It's just so much fun. They're stuck with you on a boat. <laughs> we'll call it a ship. A boat sounds too small. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, like, you guys, like, you really had a good time, it looks like. And after seeing that, I, I have a new goal in life that's on my bucket list. I want to play bingo with Roxy S. Oh, my. Oh, you know what? Okay, and that's another thing. I was with um, a fan. I call him a friend now. His name is Willie Fryson. So he goes, let's go play bingo. 
And I'm like, I never win. I go, but I'm feeling something. Yeah, I'm going to play, I'm going to play bingo. And I, I didn't really do anything else because I was so into doing all the events and making sure everybody was having fun. But that was like my outlet. So I've always been one of those because I would play bingo with my mom in, uh, I think it's like Puyallup or Auburn, Washington. And whenever somebody would stand up, we'd all kind of like get our claws down and go. <laughs> I finally got that back at me because <laughs> I won the first bingo. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody else won, so we had to split the pot. So we were like looking at each other, like, "Oh man, that sucks." <laughs> but I finally won. I'm turning 54 in October, and I finally won hundred dollars. It was great. Look at that! Congratulations! Oh, I know. I I posted a picture of that. What did you call it? A Doppler or something? I'm learning new words in bingo. And everybody's like, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah, Carnival Cruise Line is now selling a a line of sex toys. <laughs> that wouldn't shock me. Huh? That would not shock me. Well, okay, after the cruise, Somebody posted, I don't know if you saw this. Remember Kathy Lee Gifford? She used to do the Carnival Cruise Line. Ain't we got fun? And she used to dance around. Yeah. That was basically me on the cruise. <laughs> so have they hired you full time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They said this is Roxy Astor um, looking just like she should be the new spokesperson. <laughs> so, yeah. And you know what? It was, you know, a four-day small cruise. It was just a starter cruise, you know, just to see what we could do. And uh, and cruise planners, they were really, really good about it. And uh, it was a great turnout. We had close to 70 people. And I think that's nice. great for something that – that's good, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, and a lot of girls – um, I think uh, Hollywood, she was in Tennessee, she came out, and Gremlina flew out, and a lot of the fans, they, they flew out. We only had a few local people here, and I'm here, and now we're going to be flying out to New Orleans uh, in February, around Valentine's Day, babe. Hint, hint. Oh. Hint. Mm, hint just hint, saying. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping a surprise, okay? Shh. <laughs> yeah right yeah Look at that. so I, I mean uh, that shows you how big of a success it was I mean you guys already like set date for the next one uh, it's already booking people have booked already because there's uh, a special on deposit that just went out today 175 will hold your um, your spot and normally you have to get um you have to put two deposits for the room, and you have now you just can put your one seventy five and hold your spot, which is great. And oh, and the best is you get free booze all week. <laughs> really? Okay, you were too quiet on that one. <laughs> that, that 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 could twist my arm right there. You get for, okay. Do you know how much? Yeah, you know how much the booze is on these cruises. This is for seven oh, days. You get screwed up for seven days, <laughs> courtesy of Norwegian. <laughs> oh, yeah, courtesy so, I mean, there's, I think, uh, you know, with this one and why we went, uh, there's just a lot of specials um, that they were able to do. So I'm excited about it. And, and it's called, it's, the theme is, I'm sure you know, is the 80s afterglow theme, and we're having a prom night. <laughs> I never mm-hmm. went to my own prom. That that would be uh, right, and a lot of us time. didn't. So we're gonna make up for lost time. A lot of us. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So oh, there's some good boy. stuff. I have to look over the 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 uh, the info. I mean, well, okay. So obviously, you've been looking at some of this stuff. Well, there's got to be something you want to know about. You want to know about the truth or dare? 
Um, I, I take it that's how um, I saw a picture of Gremlina making out with some guy. <laughs> I didn't say that. I was going to tell you what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to do? Okay, so my little brain decides to do, let's do truth or dare or drink. And then somebody forgot to bring the drink, <laughs> what ended up being fun, because um, I think everybody would have drank. And then we couldn't have gotten the stuff we got, which was very funny. So I was dared from Angel from, I think she's season two, to there was a party going on next door. It was a wedding. And they kept popping through our door, uh, like when we're having the afterglow. And Ron, uh, I think it's Ron from the original Glow that he was uh, paramedic. He was on board. Okay. He went over to the other side and told him to stop popping through the door, right, which I did not know. So okay. I was there to open the door and tell them to, can I swear or no? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Because this really happened. I was there to open the door and tell them to shut the fuck up without knowing that there's a security guard there. So I uh, opened the door, and I yelled, shut the fuck up, and then he went running after me. <laughs> oh, boy. I take a dare. You... I take a dare very serious, just like Gremlina did. That was serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then Angel got dared to bring two people in from the outside, and then Queenie ended up giving – the husband a knocker locker while the wife took pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and it was their twenty fifth wedding anniversary. How cool is that? That what a way to celebrate the wedding anniversary. Yeah. Well the thing is <laughs> when they had no clue what they were walking into and then Jim Cooley, he was our host for the night. And because we had Johnny C sitting down with, with us girls on, on the panel. And so Jim Cooley was like, uh, hey, do you do you know where you're at or what this is? You're with the Glow Girls. And then they're like, no, really? So it was just like so surreal to them, almost like those Budweiser commercials where they're going through everything. And then they end up partying, remember those? So, and they loved it. And they, it almost, they were so cute. It was, it was almost like they were on candid camera. Yeah. Yeah, they did not know what was going on, but she went out there and brought him in, and he got his knocker locker, and she took pictures. <laughs> so that will probably be a great 25th memory, don't you think? Absolutely. They'll never forget it. <laughs> no. No, they won't. No, Matilda was a really good sport. Are they coming in February now? <laughs> I Who knows? Uh, I mean, that also happened where we had a closed karaoke um, party. And then some guy just walked in, and, and we're like, yeah, let him stay. And then all of a sudden, you know, he's kind of looking around like, something's weird here. And, you know, I'm running the karaoke with Jim Cooley and Adrian Duarte. Um, and I go, do you know where you're at? And because I like to shock people. It's, it's very funny. And if they didn't know what a glow girl was, and you know, he would have just shrugged it off. I said, these are the glow girls. You're with the gorgeous, gorgeous ladies of wrestling. He goes, no way <laughs> he goes this is too cool oh my gosh this is too cool and yeah and we got noticed on on the ship a lot where we were getting pictures taken and you know so that was a pretty good feeling that's awesome so yeah yeah I just, I, I, you know what the fans were great um i was eating pizza and ice cream at two in the morning with carlos ray and uh uh, Anthony calling and his his dad. Remember the guy that did the countdown clock? I don't know if you saw that. We ate, or I think it was Sunny and I. We would always go eat with him at two in the morning. And Dan, <laughs> pizza and ice cream because on Carnival that's all they have at twenty four hours. But um, on Norwegian, I think they have more of a buffet for twenty four hours, which is very dangerous, wow. by the way. Hey, you had me mm -hmm. a pizza. <laughs> It was good pizza for that late. It was fun, though. I mean, I think I, I just got overwhelmed with the desserts because <laughs> I was taking pictures. I don't know if you saw. I took videos because oh, I, I was, oh, my God, they were so good. So the best is when we when you have the sit-down dinner and then you get this menu and you can pick, you know, what you want from it. 
and people were taking like two of those, four of those, three desserts. <laughs> and and my daughter's Holy like, cow. well, how, how does this? I go, you can have it all if you want it. Sick, but you can have it all. <laughs> and they just keep bringing it to you. So oh, I'm kind of on a food hangover. So tell your wife not to post any pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now, now, oh. um, like a, a lot of the fans and all, was this the first time for you actually finally get to meet a lot of them, or? Yeah, yeah, and and that was the whole thing. I mean, because we're on Facebook talking uh, for what the last year, I think, and you know, and we hear the stories. Um, and I don't know if you saw me posting about that. I did an afterglow fan party fanumentary. Oh, oh, I yeah, sent that to you. Me. Didn't I, I send it. it to you? Yeah, I watched it today, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. Well, what'd you think? I loved it. Did you? It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was so cool because it was, you know what I mean? Like, it was all done recently. And, you, I mean, you threw it together quick. <laughs> so, I mean, you had, like, literally stuff from the crews on there and, and to now. So, I mean, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and it took me a year. And it, um, did you like the interviews or the the people, the yeah. fans? Yeah, that, that, mm-hmm. I mean, that was the cool part because you had like both sides. You know what I mean of, of the fence there. You had the fans with their input, and you had you guys with your input. Yeah, did you see my Marvel moment? Do you know about Marvel? I, what was the Marvel moment part? Okay, the Marvel moment is when all the credits are down, they're done, and then there's it's black screen and everybody goes to leave. This is what Dan taught me. So he goes, no, you got to sit here and wait in your seat. <laughs> so everybody was getting up. I'm like, wait, there's a Marvel moment. Hold on. And then that's when all the girls popped up. <laughs> yes, yes, I did see the Marvel moment. <laughs> okay, and I had to have Queenie do the first one. <laughs> Well, and I went and visited Fiji, and, you know, it was sad, and, you know, sh- there was a lot going on in the background, but I'm not going to go, okay, you guys shut up over there in your beds, you know. Um, it, it was what it was, and she wanted just to, you know, give a shout-out to the fans. So I thought but that was sounds, nice. She sounds good. Like, how, how's she doing? I, yeah, I mean, she was really in good spirits when Sunny and I went to go visit her, and we brought Pixie, by the way. Pixie is a healer. Oh, my gosh. She made so many people happy. And she was a hit. And uh, she's sleeping with her tongue hanging out. Oh, my God. And um, for some reason, because I think maybe the way uh, Fiji was laying, she couldn't get comfortable on her. Or, uh, But another lady, uh, her name's Crystal, kind of, she rolled up in a wheelchair, and she was just sitting on her lap the whole time. And she, um, Fiji seemed in good spirits, but I think she was getting a little tired. So, right. you know, and we kind of knew that. But, you know, she seemed fine. You know, five hours is a long time for a visit. And, yeah. but, you know, we went there. We didn't want to get stuck in traffic. And I wanted to go for a real, real visit, not just, hi, here you go. Let me take a picture. And I didn't want to do that, you yeah, know. Yeah. And then I was reading her comments because I was p- posting pictures and reading the comments, fans, of how they felt about her. And it, that made her smile. That's awesome. She really is like, now that, true, like icon. Yeah, she is. Now, um, the, that documentary um, was made like with a three hundred and fifty dollar budget <laughs> by Andrew <laughs> Bell, who's never done anything like that, and my son threw the eighties porn music in it um, for a Mother's Day present for me, and did all the music. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh huh. But it worked. Him and his uh, friend Peter um, uh, locked themselves up in a room for two days and then just went through everything. Did you see Bill after the great thing that he did for me? Of course. Was that great? That was. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like piecing everything together, you know, was the hard part because I did have everything and it sat there for two months before I could go, okay, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I was I was really happy with it. We had uh, girls that were crying, fans that were laughing, crying, everything. So so it worked. Now how how about, I'm glad. Uh, like mm-hmm. at the end of the cruise was it like that where you just like crying and it was over? Oh my God! They're like I don't want to go. I don't 
want to go. And, you know, then as soon as everybody, you know, they were posting pictures and going crazy and, uh, you know, because a lot of people thought that this was the last cruise. Uh, we didn't know, to be honest, how it was going to go or if we wanted to. And then afterwards, it was, you know, Donald uh, Goodland from Cruise Planner said, you know, we got to do another one. We have to. And uh, bigger, we're going to do, I don't know how, how it could get better because I really had no budget to do anything. I brought balloons that were supposed to be helium, but I, they weren't helium balloons, so we're sticking on the ceiling with tape. Uh, I brought masking glittery tape and made the chair and brought the old sign and just did the artwork up there, and, and that's all I could do, and it was the, the girls and that, and, you know, and it was enough. So awesome. it's like it wasn't a big production, but I think uh, the girls of Glow, I think you don't really need that. Do you? No, it, you guys got it. I mean, you don't need all the – well, you always need the glitter to make it official, but you don't need all the balloons yeah. and all that stuff. You guys got you. You know what I mean? So you, yeah, I think we snorted enough happen. glitter. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, funny, I said like, glitter, Bay, glitter. Okay. I know, I know. Going to, uh, <laughs> watching that Sanumentary, um, I think it, I guess it was a clip plug in the old Glow hotline, and I started cracking up. I was like, oh, my God, mm-hmm. I forgot about the hotline. And and Adrian Duarte, he sent me first uh, just this, him sitting in a chair going, yeah, I love Glow. And, and I go, Adrian, I know you're so much more creative than this. I go, come on, bring it on. And then that's what he came up with, and I thought that was amazing. Same thing with the puppets and just even the very normal ones. It just it was a variety, and that's that's what I like. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do with that? Are you going to release it out there to the public, or I don't know. What do you think I should do? I'm asking your advice. What do you, what should I do with that? <laughs> Is it that good? I would YouTube it. I would definitely YouTube it. That's what I'm thinking about doing. And just get it out there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you like the Jim Belushi thing at the end? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And to think they thought it was over. (laughs) I was was sitting there as I'm watching it, and I'm going, Uh I was at work today, so I'm sitting there, and I'm going back and forth between watching it, work, and writing down questions for you. And... (laughs) I see Belushi, and I jump over to another tab on my on my browser, and then I hear you guys <laughs> pop in. I'm like, oh shit! I jump back. I had to go rewind it so I could see you guys and see what you're doing. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah that was great. <laughs> yeah, because Dan uh, Dan gave me that idea for the ending. I'm like, everybody keeps thinking, yeah, it's over, well, it's over, and obviously, you know, it's not. And I go, well, let's do that. So Sunny came over, and to ask that. That weird and that bad. It took us 20 takes. <laughs> and, but she, hers was just like, German? <laughs> and I, I said, let's just be campy and just glowy. And, you know, and, and I threw my dog off the pillow. And <laughs> no, oh, my uh, gosh. That's what I, that was one question I did want to ask. Your other hand, yeah. Dan, what does he think about this whole glow extravaganza? He's like, go for it. He he knows I'm on fire. <laughs> and he just sits back. And, I mean, I'm up at, like, early, and then I'm on the phone, I'm on the computer, I'm back and forth and this and that and talking to the fan. He's used to it. So the funny, you'll appreciate this. I, I gave uh, awards away uh, to the fans. And at the very last award, I had Jim Cooley read it, and uh, it said, this is, goes to the person that put up with Roxy's stuff or shit all year long and Dan Magnus. <laughs> and he got a standing ovation. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And he goes walking up. But the funny thing is he goes, I've been stabbed. I've been shot. I've had two open heart surgeries and nothing has been worse than this year. <laughs> <laughs> So does that answer your question? <laughs> Poor Dan. <laughs> uh, I, I know. I don't know how anybody can live with me. Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. 
I know. Oh. It was it was all good though. Well I'm glad you enjoy the the family man tree. So I, I'm thinking about YouTube would, would just be a good thing where everybody can kinda of get the whole good vibe of it. Yeah. You know. Definitely. It's nothing I wanna make definitely. money off. I just wanna, you know, just share it. Yeah, I think YouTube is definitely the way to go. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, how about I see a lot of you guys wearing glow shirts. Like, can are they for sale anywhere? Can fans get yeah, them? Yeah, Hollywood. Are you talking about the ones that Sunny and I had? Uh, the black and white. We had those on in the documentary. Yes. Yeah, we had the black with the white, and uh-huh. actually Hollywood is selling those. So you can contact her. I love those. Yeah, yeah, she's got a few different shirts. Lightning does. MTV has shirts. But I think Hollywood was doing just the black with the white. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to get in touch with her. Now, here's something, too, I want to throw out there, too. There's a little uh-huh. uh, wrestling convention coming up in the Philadelphia area in a couple months. We have to figure a way to get you guys out of here. Oh, what convention is it? Icons of Wrestling. Oh, icons of wrestling. Mhm. Didn't who did that? I think Tina Ferrari or uh, Little Egypt did that. I think three girls went out last time or something. Is that what it was? Mm. No, it's uh, Ralph Feinstein's doing it. He did his first one back in April, and he's doing huh. his next one in September. Or actually, he's doing one I think before September. In Texas, yeah, he's doing one in August in Texas, in Texas, but then he's doing a return hmm. one to Philly in September. Right. Well, Glow Girls are hot right now, aren't they? You see everything on Facebook. I'm going to shoot you over the link to check it out. I'm yeah, I've talked to Rob out. Feinstein before. I think a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Mhm. Uh, what do they R something video or something or? Yeah, R F video. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I think I spoke with him. But now we're like, I think um, the Glow Girls are more relevant now. We're out there, and and that's that's a good thing. I mean, when we get together, uh, there's nothing like us. Out, I mean, we've been together for thirty years. I feel like a bad marriage, but uh, <laughs> you know. We're out there now. We go to the Comic Con. Stanley uh, didn't go to DrakeCon this year, but I think it's neat that we can still get out there. And when the fans see us, they get really excited. Well, and a big part of all this is, is you. I mean, you're the one who, and like I said before, you're the one that keeps waving the flag for glowing and really keeping the spirit and the whole thing alive. I'm like the cheerleader, right? <laughs> you are. You are the official. But I'm the cheerleader on the bottom. <laughs> I'm not the one on top. I know. I. You know what? Because I, I just feel like it's, there's so much left, and that's after talking to the fans. It's just not done. And, you know, like you and I talked back before with the Afterglow, I mean, that mm-hmm. could have been just that one show, and I could have easily walked away and, and been happy and proud of it. You know that, right? No. No? Or why? You know me too well? No. Because I know uh, that it was successful. The, the, mm-hmm. the juices were flowing. And yes. As you can see. Right away, you're yeah. like, all right, because then you wanted to bring it out to the East Coast. And then you came up with the I whole tried. Program. I really tried. Yeah. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no, I knew you would not be happy to get because you wanted to keep going. And I'm not, I, I applaud you for it. That's <laughs> all Oh, but it's been, what, um, almost two years? It'll be, wait, that was 2010. Yeah, it'll be almost two years in October then from the first Afterglow. Yeah. You know? That's, that's When I saw that in the video, I was like, oh, my God, it's been almost two years. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, that's when I, I when I was putting it together, I had to like double take and go. Wow, it just seems like it was just last year. So 
I mean, it went by very, very quick, and I've done a lot. And you see me. I'm out, you know, I'm going to these little red carpet events, uh, women in media, and I'm talking about the afterglow, talking about glow, and until they don't want to hear it. But, and then I still talk about it. Right. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and it makes people happy. So, and now it's, you know, um, you see some things on Netflix going on with, with it. You see that, right? Yeah, I did. I, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that. <laughs> I really have no idea, to be honest. I, I don't know. But, you know, people are talking about it confused and, and that. But, you know, who knows, right? Nobody knows. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, The Afterglow, do you think it maybe inspired it and got some interest? Absolutely. Because Mm. I feel like Glow's been Mm. been dead for a while. You know, it's been 30 years. And the Glow documentary, you know, that kind of got everybody going. And then, you know, it's like it in anything. You just got to keep going because you do a movie and they forget about it. You do something, they forget about it. I've nonstop been keeping it alive for something like this to happen. You know, it's been like you said, like with the documentary, that would have been the end of it. It would have just like faded away. But you yeah. were the one who took the ball around with it, and you're keeping it alive. Well, and and you know why I did though. I don't know if I told you with with uh, the documentary why I did the Afterglow because I felt like not enough girls were in it. You know, interviews were sure. maybe. Uh, four or five that were, I mean, there was 30 of us, you know, how hard is it if you, you know, raise the money for a Kickstarter to fly out and go do an interview or do an interview on your phone or something like what I did with my fandom entry. I'm sorry. I just think they left out too many girls and I don't think any of the girls would say that, but, and I've always said that and that's why I did the afterglow. And to be honest, I reached out to those two guys that did, (laughs) <laughs> the documentary, and they never got back to me. That's crazy. Yeah, but they're loving the, the Netflix thing. So I guess my, mine wasn't big enough. But, hey, I was there when they needed me for an interview, but they cut down to two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but I was there. Do you, you, you were there. Do you happen to know, like, how many total glow girls there was through the years? Oh my gosh! I, I'm just trying to think, because um, I remember, like even just like for the auditions, I remember seeing like I swear a hundred girls on the grass <laughs> in front of the apartments, and then dwindling. And then I think there was with us maybe I'm not for sure thirty, thirty-five, and then first and second season like another thirty, so maybe. 70 or something. Holy That's a lot cow. of girls. I didn't yeah. Mhm. That's why I'm saying you see um I'm really glad how they, you know, got Matilda in there cuz that was a great story. She deserved it and um I love Hollywood story. And uh Fiji's, that was great. When then we all got together and I got to meet Tina Ferrari for the first time, you know. It was neat. So I enjoyed that part of the reunion. Good stuff. I like yeah, it's great stuff. Oh, you know there's going to be more. There's going to be a lot more for me very, very soon. <laughs> I just can't say it. <laughs> uh, well, I, I hate huh? when people do that. See, I hate when people do that. I have no <laughs> wait, wait, I have Bay, no hold on. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> you have to tell me. I'm not saying on air. Just send me a message and, like, fill me in. Come on. Keep me in the loop. Oh, well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. It's something I'll, I'll know soon. I'll, I'll let you know. It's something, something good. It's, it's going to be good for, for everybody. Fans, glow girls, for everybody. Of course, because that's the way it should be. Don't Absolutely. you think? Mm-hmm. And and GLOW stands for women. I like the women, not just one. It's all of us. And not that all of us get along 100% or 
you know, it's kind of hard to like everybody. Trust me, it is, but uh, <laughs> but it's women. That's really? what makes it blow. It looks like you, you know, no, not just one person. You're talking about that one. I'm talking about that I, I one. Like, yeah, I know there's one that nobody gets along with. And that there's one, too, and the other one. But especially yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're teasing your listeners now, too, aren't you? <laughs> well, and you know what the funny part is? Uh, somebody who's being super quiet during this whole thing is Mr. Jimmy Gennetti. I didn't even know he was still here. Was he here on... On the phone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's there. The Jimmy, we've actually had some kind words, haven't we? Uh, yes, you've been a lot nicer recently. Well, because I haven't seen you on Facebook. I think I missed you. <laughs> oh, that's... See? Better, right? huh? Well, Bay and I go back, and... I love watching his family stuff. I love it when you sell a car, bay. I love that your daughter's doing her Comic Cons with her art. I love, I just love watching your whole family. <laughs> Jimmy, it's only you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bay's got a really interesting family. I got it. I, yeah. No, I, but I'm glad you're here today. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm here today. I wanted to hear about the, uh, the cruise. Yeah. yeah. About everything that's doing well for you. you yeah, it. Huh? You gotta get your thumb on these things. We, have, you know. Well, Godiva went to the Queen Mary. She met uh, a longtime fan, Diana Prince, on the Queen Mary, and I thought Diana was gonna have a heart attack because it's been. Uh, I mean, to see me and her, but especially her, she's a huge fan of of Godiva. It was, and we planned it. And that was the neat thing. I had to go pick her Diana Prince up in my car with Johnny C in the back, and she's dressed in drag. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, and she and Dan's, you know, going, okay, what are you doing? And then I, I couldn't tell her, and then I walked her into the Queen Mary. Funny thing is, David McLean was on the Queen Mary right before we got there with Johnny C. Now, how weird is that? Wow. <laughs> Now, he doesn't, he, doesn't mm-hmm. get involved in it. he doesn't get involved in any of this stuff, does he, David? Who? David? No. David, David no. No, he has, he has his wow that he was working on something, and I don't know what happened to it. So, you know, I see, like, little things that it's on YouTube or they filmed it or something. So, no, you don't really see anything from him, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's not an easy business. I mean, what I do, you know, is it's not easy. Um, I enjoy it, though. That's the main thing. Am I making any money off it? No, but I'm having a blast. There you go. That's, you. That's the bottom line at the end of the day. Jenny, no. Go on the cruise on the next one. No. But I can't promise you Godiva will be on it, so. <laughs> no, I, I, no, where, where I can, can everybody... You, where can everybody find out the information to go on the cruise? Well, if you're, um, we just started posting now, and I think there's a link up. And I'm, you know, I'm not like going crazy posting like I, you know, been doing. I just need just a week break, and so I've been posting like every two days. Um, so if you look under my page, Roxy Astor, you know, on Facebook, we're going to do another uh, web website because. The first one was the Afterglow Fan Party Cruise. This one is 80s Afterglow. So it's all an 80s theme, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I'll be sharing the link a lot, and so will the other girls. I'm going to try to pull in a few, few new ones that are kind of hiding, so that will be kind of fun too, which I can't tell yet. Sorry, Bay. <laughs> I just realized I got you again. And so, it, you know, you know me, Bay. You know where I'm at. I know you can hold you, especially now that I have the right number. Well, I didn't quite get it. I'm like, oh, he's calling my San Diego. And I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just, I had another blonde moment. Is that okay? A cruise moment, an after glow cruise moment. <laughs> 
I'm back to normal, though, kind of. <laughs> That's you have to tell your wife hi for me. I will. I always do. Okay, good. Good. How's your car going? Is it good? Your purple car? Absolutely. Oh, love that car. Got to put up more pictures, though. Hey, that could be the official Afterglow fan party car. Woo! I haven't been driving it that much. I, I've actually been, uh, like, letting it relax and not rack the miles up. Uh, yuck, you're one of those. You buy it just to have it look good, and then you park it in your garage for what? I, here, real quick, here's a quick crazy story. A buddy of mine uh, sent me mm-hmm. a message on Facebook two weeks ago. He goes, hey, are you working? I'm like, yeah, I got to swing by. I got to show you something. I'm like, Okay. The next thing I know, he comes walking in. I'm like, what's up? He's like, come outside. I'm like, okay. He freaking went and bought a Viper. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what What you year? Know, a 2013 Viper. He don't want Because they stopped making Viper. them, right? Uh, yeah, oh. I think this is the last year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he, my God. He took a, he took a, he's got an inheritance. Uh, $150,000. He took 75000 and went and paid for it cash. Ooh. I'm like, you uh, I thought you were going to say a DeLorean. <laughs> it would have been a lot cheaper for him. I know it would have. Yeah, I, I like the Vipers when they first came out, but now they're just kind of useless, don't you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I said. I like your, Bay, I like your car. I love the color. I like your car. I do too. It's one of my favorite cars. Did you tell him to put his toy toy away so you could show your car? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even have my toy with me. The toy was home. Yeah. Well, he brought his toy. <laughs> there you go. Uh huh. So, That's funny. Right, well, I'm actually going to have to let you go because I have our other guest waiting. Okay. And I do have somebody. I, I I do have somebody on hold, but I, I'm, and I have a feeling I know who it is. I I, I got to let them on real quick. But I think I know who it is, and oh, my, yeah. my other guest is waiting. So I'll just let them on real quick. Okay. You're live on the air. Who is this? Tell us, please. I think I know who it is. Good God, Roxy! Could this interview be any more boring? You should have told them. <laughs> I was talking about you. Yeah, oh, my gosh. For the last hour ago and say something good already. I did. I said we went and picked you up with Johnny C. in the back. <laughs> you were, like, shocked. Uh, <laughs> they want to hear all <sighs> shit-faced and not knowing where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's your story. <laughs> or, or the lap dance you gave Johnny C. You talking about that? Secret truck, man. Oh, okay, but that's on video. That's on video. Mm-hmm. Why is that not on the fanumentary? That will be on the next fanumentary. That, that'll be part two. Well, Diana, you were in the fanumentary, so Bay saw you. Yeah, and I also mm-hmm. absolutely contest on that ship. Mm-hmm. We had a great time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had a great time. Yep. And we're going again? Absolutely. Okay. That's good. But, and the How food was amazing. The food was so How good. Go? Just keep saying that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited. Pop in and say hi. I will talk to you later, Roxy. I love you, Diana. I love you more. Bye, Ray. Thank you for a day. So thank you for letting me come on and... Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> that, that son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, Diane. Oh, that's I great. Knew you, that's why I had to let you on. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I always like hearing that, that voice. <laughs> uh, all right, Roxy. Well, I always love hearing your voice, too. But unfortunately, I have to go. I know. And get our next guest. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for the interview, and I will I will post some things and let you know some things soon. Okay, I promise. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. 
Oh, come on. You know, I'm a wo- woman of my word, if I can get that word out. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right. Thanks, babe. Bye, Roxy. Bye, Bye Jimmy. Take care. Uh-huh. All right. Bye-bye.